Taylor expansion is going to be for us a really simple method for finding a bifurcation at a known location. So if you know where to look, Taylor expansion is your tool. Let's begin with a couple of examples. First of all, let's say I tell you that there's a bifurcation at x equals zero in the following system. dx dt equals mu times x minus sine squared of 2 x. Then what do we do? How do we do this? Well, write out that equation and then let's Taylor expand about x equals zero. Now the Taylor expansion of mu times x is just mu times x. What about sine squared of 2x? I'm going to take sine of 2x, which is quantity 2x minus 2x all cubed over 3 factorial plus higher order terms, terms of order x to the fifth and higher. I'm going to take all of that and then square it. And the way I'm going to do that is just by using FOIL multiplication and putting all the higher order terms into a big O trash can. When I do that, what do I get? I get mu times x. And then the first term that I'm going to be subtracting off is quantity 2x squared. That's 4x squared. And then guess what? Everything else has order x to the fourth or higher. So I'm just going to put that all in a trash can. And I can do that because here in the lower order terms, what do I see? I see mu times x minus 4x squared. That matches the normal form for a transcritical bifurcation. And that is happening at mu equals zero because that's where the linear term vanishes. That's where the stability criterion fails. Okay, let's look at a more complicated example. Let's say that my right-hand side is now quantity mu squared plus 6 times x plus 5 times mu times the hyperbolic sine of x. Oh, what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to Taylor expand about x equals 0. That first term on the right-hand side, it's polynomial. So the Taylor expansion of that is just mu squared plus 6 times x. Then I take 5 times mu, and I multiply that by the Taylor series for cinch, for hyperbolic sine. That's going to be x plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus terms of order x to the fifth and higher. Okay, now combining terms together according to the order of x, what do I get? I get quantity mu squared plus 5 mu plus 6 times x, that's the linear term, plus a cubic term, 5 mu over 6 times x cubed. Everything else is of order x to the fifth and higher. And this is great because within the cubic part, we see the normal form for the pitchfork bifurcation. Now it looks a little bit complicated because of the coefficient in front of that linear term, but what I'm gonna do is take that quadratic polynomial in mu, factor that out into mu plus two times mu plus three, and then I can conclude where the bifurcations happen. And it's bifurcations because there are two places where this linear term vanishes at mu equals negative two and at mu equals negative three. So we've got a pitchfork bifurcation at each of these locations. Aha, uh -huh, but which type? Is it supercritical or subcritical? We need to investigate the sign of the cubic term in x. Now you might look at that and say, well, it's got a plus sign. No, 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 no. It's got a mu term. And that means what we need to do is evaluate that coefficient at mu equals negative two, at mu equals negative three. In both cases, we get a negative number in front of x cubed. That means that these are both supercritical pitchfork bifurcations. Okay, last example, let's say that dx dt is mu times x minus x squared divided by one plus x squared. What do I do in this case? Well, let's see, do I remember the Taylor expansion of this guy on the right hand side? I think what I'm gonna do is factor out an x squared from the numerator of that, leaving one over one plus x squared, 
And now, now I remember that 1 over 1 plus Smiley, oh, that is a geometric series that we've got going on right here. So what I have is mu times x plus x squared times quantity 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth and then a bunch of higher order terms. Again, using the geometric series. Grouping terms together by lowest order, what I get is mu times x plus x squared, and all the remaining terms are of order x to the fourth and higher. I'm going to throw those away. We have, again, a transcritical bifurcation at mu equals zero. Now, here's the thing. That last example has a transcritical bifurcation at x equals zero, mu equals zero, but there's another bifurcation as well. And it's the important one. And where is it? If you don't know where to look, how are you going to tailor expand about an unknown point? How are we going to find and classify that bifurcation? This is a story that is to be continued. But if you know where a bifurcation occurs, then tailor expansion, that's it. That's the right tool for classifying the bifurcation, assuming it's one of the standard types.